When I tell you that this is the most aggressive weather pattern that we've seen in months, I mean it. Let's quickly take a look at the temperatures and then we're gonna go over and take a look at the future reflectivity to see what's ahead. Right here, we're looking at the 850 millibar temperatures moving forward. The reason I'm looking at this is because at this layer, this is just above our heads. It's not affected by the daytime heating or the nighttime cooling. So it's a lot easier to see where that transfer of cool air actually is. Now, if we move forward in time and you can see right now, we do have some pretty chilly temperatures through the plains and out east. But as we move forward in time, we're gonna get into this week, which is actually gonna bring a little bit of a warm up for a lot of us across the country from the west to the east coast. We'll have a little bit of a ridge pushing up there in the plains. So break from the cool air for a little bit, but wait until we get into next weekend. Look at this trough trying to dive down towards the Gulf region. This would bring feels like below freezing temperatures all the way down potentially to Texas, northern Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia. It's gonna try to get these very chilly winter temperatures very far south. Moving forward from that, that'll move out. And then look what's right behind it. These are these wobbles that I talk about in the jet stream. And these typically occur after you have some Arctic warming, which we've had. Here's another dive of extremely cold air. This is very displaced for this early in the season. And with this cold air, it looks like we're gonna have the potential for some significant storms. 